This month, 40 buildings across America will receive part of a $3 million to preserve American, African American landmarks. One of them is in Athens. Nick Veland has more on how the money will be spent. Mount Zion Baptist Church in Athens was founded in 1872 and is the last remaining black-owned historic building along the southeastern Ohio River Valley's Underground Railroad corridor. The Mount Zion Baptist Church Preservation Society now plans to restore and repurpose the building as a regional black artistic, cultural, and economic hub. Brent Legs, the executive director for the African American Cultural Heritage Fund, said that Mount Zion was one of around 100 proposals that was selected for funding since 2018. A couple of reasons that we selected Mount Zion. It was really beautiful to see how diverse the organization was, and they have a beautiful vision for reusing that historic space as a center for arts, culture, and technology. And it really, I think, has the potential to be a national model once they complete this project. This funding will allow Mount Zion to start the restoration from the ground up. Dr. T. Ford Amon, Mount Zion's communications director, says this funding will rehabilitate the basement. We're so excited. The, the, the basement will be kind of like the ground place for, um, for developing uh, hangouts for, for students. We'll have an educational center there um, and, um, and other kinds of happenings uh, there in term, terms of, uh, of providing community uh, activities and support. Hearing this funding will start the restoration makes it special for Dr. T. Fort Amman, who has a deep history with the church. How is passion uh, during my graduate degree? That was the uh, mid 90s. I attended there. My daughter was a um, student at Athens High School, uh, basketball player, as a matter of fact, and she sang in the choir. When I say passion, I, I mean that uh, with all sincerity. For Newswatch, I'm Nick Veland. This funding is the first step of a $4 million project to fully restore the church in the coming years.